my name is Nick and in today's video I'm going to be unboxing and installing and also doing a quick little ride on this suspension seat post. I bought it for the BMC bike because it has a proprietary seat post and they don't make suspension seat posts so I had to buy something kind of generic so let's take a look and see what I got. On Amazon here it's just called bike seat shock absorber rear shocks and it's supposed to attach to the top of the seat post and then it attaches to the seat. Okay, right away it's not surprising that it does say made in China. Looks like it comes with some instructions. And seat post itself. Sorry, the seat post shock itself and comes with a looks like a six millimeter Allen key. Let's take a look at the instructions as shown. Use clamps on the cushions, tighten the screws, a little sleeve protection, tighten that. There's the picture to adjust the position. And then clamp the position, tighten the screws, fix the saddle after tightening. The suspension itself is not particularly light. I'll weigh it in a little bit. And let me just see if I could squeeze it down with my hands. Yeah, so there's quite a bit of force it takes to squeeze down, which is good. This one has a little loop in the end, and that way you could put a seat bag and attach it here without slipping out the back. So hopefully you could have the clamp on the seat here. On the bottom here is looks like the six millimeter Allen bolt. And there's quite a bit of adjustment, maybe 10 centimeters. Yep, it does look like the measurements are indeed 10 centimeters, but it goes from here to there, so maybe a total of 80 millimeters of adjustment. As I mentioned, it's not that light. 354 grams, nearly an extra pound to your bike. If you remember my last video, this one's about 600 grams. And in another video I made, this is about 460 grams, the short travel thud buster. So even though this is lighter, it does not account for the weight of the seat post you have to attach it to. And if you have an ultra light seat post, it's still about an extra 180 grams. So that'll make your seat post set up probably 530 grams or so. Before you take the seat post off, you want to measure from the center of the bottom bracket here up to the seat post collar right there. So I get about 70.5 centimeters. So you want to make sure you're going to have to lower the seat post down because the spring suspension here is going to fit right here. So you get to lower the top of the seat post to at least here or maybe a little higher to account for the spring. So now just use your Allen key here, loosen this up and pull the seat post out. Then we can go ahead and start installing it on this. As you can tell, this is a proprietary seat post, so I couldn't just order another Cane Creek Thud Buster because it's not standard 27.2 millimeters round. Then go ahead and loosen these off and slide the seat right off the seat post. Even though it is kind of loose now, I'm probably gonna have to completely remove one of the bolts here in order for it to slide off. There we go. Let me slide it off just like that. Out of curiosity, my seat post and hardware is 194 grams, which is a little more than the Ozu Pro that I had that's 180 grams. Well, not the lightest seat. I do like my Physique Aliante. Comes in 195 grams and it's supposed to be a little more comfier, more comfortable because it does have the carbon rails and they're supposed to flex a little bit. However, I can't tell the difference between having the carbon rails and just standard aluminum rails. It's interesting here it says as shown however look on the back it doesn't have the lifted rear end to put the seat back on like this one does back here. So I think they make different seat posts suspensions. Well it does say install the seat first so I'll go ahead and get a six millimeter put it in here and loosen this off and note how this is on top. So then you're gonna have to probably put the seat and maybe I could just slide it right over there. Well, the whole assembly comes off and this is the top part. So I could probably just slide this over here like such. 
and then on this rear side, maybe even just slide this on in like that. So it fits right in. And then go ahead and once you get that in, go ahead and tighten the bolt. I want to make sure you do it right. This is already the wrong way. The seat's supposed to be facing that way. So I could probably just loosen the boat and flip the whole thing around. You see it's loose now and then just turn the whole thing around. There. Like that. And to tighten the boat, you got to go into the back side and hold the little washer here with one hand. Now you can start tightening it up. Try to make sure it gets fixed into place. And then you can go ahead and tighten it even further. So with the seat and suspension there, it's already 550 grams approximately. This is kind of how it looks like so far. I do feel quite a bit of weight to it. There aren't any torque specs, so I just have to make sure not to go too tight, but it is a six millimeter. So you don't have to worry too much about over tightening it. But the seat and seat post, I think it's no more than seven Newton meters. Oh, sorry, eight Newton meters. So, you, and these are five millimeters. So with six millimeter, you could probably go a little more than eight Newton meters if you like. And it did come with this short one, so that's great. So I can tighten it kind of with my hand here. There we go. Also keep in mind here, there's two adjustments. There's adjustment on how much spring you want. So if you put it further back, it's for lighter riders, put it further forward for heavier riders. And then also how far the seat is back from your handlebars and the reach. So if you put it more forward up here, then it's for, le for less reach. If you have shorter torso and you put it, sorry, if you put it way up here, sliding the seat forward. And then if you put it here, then it's for longer reach, so you're lower on the bike. So I might just move this back just to about the center installing the seat this is the rear so make sure this is to the back and you're gonna face it this direction and make sure you have all the components so this goes in here and this would be going on top and then this will go through here or to screw on put the seat on the rails down here and go ahead and screw it in now that's installed as you can see if I put some weight on it, it kind of goes down so if I'm sitting on it it's gonna be about this level and on this height so I want to Probably preload it. I'm gonna just put some weight on it and then probably do some zip ties so you won't get as much movement. Just hold it here so that way when it's sitting in, it stays between here. It doesn't go all the way back up because metal has a certain amount of fatigue and if you keep bending and bending as you see in some of the reviews. This is probably a weak point right there. I bought a bunch of zip ties and I'm just gonna use some zip ties from here to here to do a little preload. So now I'm gonna go preload this a little bit, make it more flat. And maybe tighten this a little bit. And then I have to put this tape on the bottom and top because I don't want it slipping off and I don't want this slipping up to here. Otherwise, that's going to defeat the purpose. Maybe one more click. Okay, so it's kind of preloaded now. Okay, so I added two zip ties on each side and I kind of put them sideways and I'll probably put a little more tape there so if it bounces around it doesn't slide up and then hopefully just go for a ride and see how it works but overall if you look it seems like it's kind of doing its purpose so this is my first ride with the suspension seat post the ride's not super smooth and take a look First thing I noticed is it's kind of like the seat sitting on the middle of a seesaw. It kind of pivots forward and backwards, like up and down. The front goes up and down rather than the seat going up and down together like it does in the Thud Buster. But it's still a lot smoother than not having a seat post suspension at all. So, so far, first impressions kind of does the job. Works pretty good so far back and it's been actually a few weeks since I did the install here so I've been on several rides with this and I'd like to note a few things first is if you spin in circles and you pull up with your rear foot it actually compresses the seat so if you're going up a steep hill and not only are you just pushing but pulling at the same time when you pull up it puts extra force on the seat and it goes up 
Also, on my second ride, this wasn't tight enough, the bolt under here, and there aren't Allen keys to get under here, so you have to loosen the rails, slide it all the way forward, tighten this, and then slide it all the way back in order to tighten this. You can't just do it easily on the fly. It takes a few minutes to just adjust both rails. And number three, um, the handle, sorry, the seat bag is quite a bit lower. So if you have a small frame that the top tube's almost by the tire, you might not be able to put a rear seat bag here. Fortunately, this is a 55 centimeter from center to center top tube length, and it's quite a bit higher, so I could still put the seat bag here. The other thing that's not ideal about this is when there's suspension, when it actually is working, the front of the seat actually noses upward. So this goes down and then the seat points upward. So if you're actually like in a TT position or really aerial and you're leaning all the way forward and it goes down, it'll point up and it might be a little uncomfortable. So in terms of comfort, I mean, as you can see, it does, it does help make the ride a lot more enjoyable and a lot more comfortable, but I don't think it is as great as the Thud Buster up here. I have the King Creek Thud Buster LT here, and that's just a little more softer ride. And also, the nose doesn't point upward every time you hit a bump. But overall, it is significantly better, softer ride than without the suspension here. I think if you could overcome some of those shortcomings, this is actually a quite reasonably priced suspension seat post. Addition, I'm not going to bet that it lasts forever. I've seen other reviews where it snaps here. It looks like some weak points. There aren't any elastomers and all of your forces are on these two things here. So I hope this video helped you a lot. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Have a great day.